Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick comparison between a 2020 Model 3 and a 2023 Model 3. And you may be wondering, why do I have two? Well, I'm actually selling this one to Carvana and I purchased this one yesterday. So what I have is a 2020 Model 3 Standard Range Plus, and this is a 2023 Model 3 Long Range. Now, of course, at first glance, they look very similar because the model has not changed much since it was released back in 2017. But there are a few changes I'll go over in this video. So first, we'll start with the exterior changes. Starting at the side of our 2020 model, you can see that we do have silver trim for our camera, for our mirror, and all the way around the window frame, as well as our door handles. In comparison, our 2023 model has all of that in black instead. So our camera is black, our mirror trim is black, the trim around the windows, as well as our door handles. Another change is the headlights. Here is our 2020 model, and here's our 2023 model, and you can kind of see that projector beam in the back. I believe these are matrix headlights. Might be a better look on the other side here. My 2020 Model 3 has these sensors at the bottom bumper, on the front, as well as on the back, and these help with distance. On the 2023 model, those are no longer here, so it uses the cameras for distance and completely relies on those. And here is the rear bumper, just to show you those sensors. And on our brand new Model 3, there are no sensors at all. Here is one of our side cameras on the 2020 model and the side camera on our 2023. This may be a little hard to see, but here's our pillar camera on the 2020 model. It does have a lot more foam in here. And here's the camera on our 2023. Now the wheels on my 2020 Standard Range Plus did come with hubcaps. However, they are a different variation of the current rear wheel drive hubcaps. But the underside does look pretty similar. These are 18 inches. With the 2023, I decided to go for the 19 inch wheels, as you can see here. And here's our 2020 Model 3 with its frunk open. You can see the honeycomb design underneath, our struts on the sides. Our frunk has no liner, fairly deep. We have the tow hook right here. Here is our 2023 model, very similar. Same honeycomb pattern underneath, struts. And our frunk does have a liner and the tow hook is now in the center. The back end of the 2020 and the back end of our 2023. The trunk on our 2020 is not automatic. It does have a button right underneath the T. We'll pop open like so, lift it up. Here's the plastic underneath. We do have a large opening. As you can see here, I have a liner in. It does use carpet underneath. And we do have storage underneath pretty deep, as well as some storage on the side. And just to show you how deep that is, it's a very deep storage, so you can probably put maybe even a cooler in here. The trunk on our 2023 is automatic. Same button underneath the T. The inside of the trunk is just as cavernous as the 2020. We do have carpeted mat, and we also have the same storage space to the side as well as underneath. The 2023, of course, has the automatic trunk, so you just press the button to close. On the 2020 Model 3, you can see we have single pane glass. On the 2023, you can see we have double pane glass, so that definitely helps with noise reduction. Another exterior difference is the mirrors. As you can see on my 2020 Model 3, the left mirror does not have dimming. While on the 2023, you can see that it does include dimming as it has kind of this rim around the actual mirror. The right mirror on my 2020 Model 3 does have that, as you can see, and the passenger side of the 2023 also has it. Now we'll take a look at some interior differences. The interior on my Model 3 from 2020 is white and has held up pretty well, if you're wondering. I did choose the black interior for the 2023. Taking a look at our steering wheel on the 2020 model, it does have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, as you can see. We do have some separators here where it's sewn in, and it is a little bit thicker than the 2023. 
The scroll wheels on the 2020 model are rubber. And I'll be honest, I'm not a super fan of them. They do have some texture on them. However, when going left or right, as it's worn in, it does not click as well as it should. As I mentioned, the steering wheel in the 2023 is very similar to the 2020. However, we have vegan leather going all the way around. It is one consistent piece. And I feel that these portions up here are not as thick as the 2020 model. In addition, the control wheels are metal instead of plastic and they feel more rounded. So they actually feel better in the hand. Going between tracks, everything feels way better in the 2023. Another change is the door panels. The design is completely different from the 2020 to the 2023. As you can see on the 2020 model, our window switches have piano black plastic going around them, as well as up on the door release. And all of these buttons have a slash that is changed on the 2023 model. As you can see, it is a matte black instead of that piano black. You still have the slashes for the window switches. However, on the door release, it does show a little door for the driver and you know that that is actually a door release and while i did mention that there is a redesign with the door panels there's also a difference with the grill design on the rear doors so as you can see we kind of have this triangular cutout with the speaker on the 2023 you can see it's now just a circular grill with a speaker inside of course being that this model does have silver trim it does have silver door sills and you can see this as model three of course mine did not age very well but they still look pretty good. On my 2023 model, this has not been removed, but they are black to match the black trim. Another difference is with our seat controls. Here is our 2020 model, and here's our 2023 model. As you can see, there is a silver trim around each of the controls, so they're more clearly visible. If you do have one of the older Model 3s, you will have lumbar on the passenger side. However, on the new models, you no longer have that and you have a blank where the lumbar support would be on the 2023. Now taking a look at our console and our 2020 Model 3. I have covered these with a cover due to the piano black plastic underneath and it looks very bad when it gets dirty. This was changed in the 2021 model year, but if you have one prior, you know that this is a very cavernous console. As you can see here, we have a lot of room. There are two USB ports here. One is for the sentry mode. You also may have gotten wireless charging with this portion here. However, mine just has a kind of rubber mat on top and I just have my garage door opener there. One of my biggest issues with this console is this lid here because it has to be gently closed. If you do not close it gently, you'll get a message telling you to close the lid gently. I also have a cover for my center right here. However, you have a little tray and then I have even more room in here for goodies. So both very cavernous and you have a lot of room for different things. And now taking a look at the center console in the 2023 Model 3, you can see it is completely changed and I think looks much better. At the top, we have a wireless charger. So you can set two phones here. You have a nice Alcantara backing to that and a thicker bolster of leather around that. We of course have our cup holders again. You can see the difference here. We do have two little lines inside. And then we have our console storage with silver trim going all the way around and a nice gray color. And this moves up like so. And then you can see inside here. And I would say it's pretty cavernous, but not quite as cavernous as the other Model 3. And to close, and the USB port in the 2023 is in the glove box. And if you buy it new, they do include a flash drive, 128 gigs with a Tesla logo. And here is our center. And this should be very similar. As you can see, there is no tray like the 2020 model, but the storage is exactly the same in this one. Another difference I noticed is with the visor. On the 2020, you can see that the design is gonna be very similar pull down for your mirror, you have two lights and you have a traditional clip for that visor and that pops out like so, clips back into place. And on the 2023 model, you can see again, very similar, the same type of mirror lighting. However, the clip is different here as it's using a magnet instead of a traditional plastic clip. Another interior difference is with the rear. As you can see on the AC vents, we do have two 
USB ports. These are USB-A on the 2020. And on the 2023, they are USB-C. Another the large difference is with the display. And while the display is the same, the inside is different. What I mean by that is the processor is different. So if we go to additional vehicle information here, you can see that this one is using an Intel Atom processor, while the 2023 is using an AMD Ryzen processor. Another thing I'll show, but I won't demonstrate here, is the cabin heater. On the older Model 3s, it is a resistive heater, and on the newer Model 3s, it is using a traditional heat pump. Another difference I noticed with the key card here is that while on the front they look the same, this one is my older one. As you can see, the Tesla embossed pieces came off, but the front is the same. What's different is the diagram on the rear of each key card. On the older version, it shows a full photo of the car, shows a zoomed in portion with the pillar and how to unlock with the key card. While on the newer version, it just shows a zoomed in portion of the pillar, where to place the key card, and then you can unlock and lock with that key card. And just to give you a quick look around each car, just to soak in the differences, here again is our door panel on the 2020 Model 3. Our dashboard with the white trim, steering wheel, the screen, passenger side, our white seats. As I mentioned, they have aged pretty well. Here's our back seat, front seat. Trim. This has been scratched up very much, but I'm pretty sure that's on every single Model 3. Here's our pedals and our back seat. Here's our door panel. Here are our seats. The rear. And of course, that huge roof. Taking a closer look at the 2023 interior compared to the 2020, you can see we have that wood grain up at the top, the Alcantara. This would change if it is a white interior, it'll have white trim here. The overall dashboard is the same. You, have, you would have white trim here, steering wheel, center console, passenger side. Here are our black seats, center console, Here's our trim. Taking a look at our back seat. Black seats and door shelf. And of course our large windows at the top. So there you guys have it, a quick comparison between the 2020 and 2023 Model 3. Of course, this is a long range, this is a standard range, so there are some additional differences between the two, but you can kind of see the exterior and interior differences uh, between the new and old. So of course, that's a very minor refresh compared to some other brands. Usually when they do a mid-cycle refresh with a car, they'll change the front, they'll change the rear, they'll change some interior bits, and maybe even some engine choices uh, with the Model 3. Really not huge differences, but of course, if you're coming from an older one to a newer one, you can kind of see what to expect. Of course, there are some things that are missing here, so you're not getting the ultrasonic sensors on the new model. If uh, you wanted that passenger lumbar, which honestly I've only seen in the Model 3, I've never seen passenger lumbar in another car unless they feature that in luxury cars, but it's really not a necessity, but you lose that with the newer models. Aside from that, everything is very similar. You've got the different trim on both models, the different lighting on the front, You've got some uh, modifications to the center console. That's one of the biggest changes I enjoy. And of course, if you come from an old one to a new one, you're going to get a new battery, which definitely makes a difference. If you get one of the newer rear wheel drive models from a standard range, you're getting the L LFP battery. If you're getting a long range, you're gonna still get the same type of battery. However, it's just a little bit less range on the newer model. But anyway, guys, there you have it. Just a quick comparison. Hopefully that helps if you are looking between the two different models. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.